Hey guys, uh, it's been a while, <laughs> and uh, I'm aware of that, um, but it also didn't seem like the right time. Uh, I wanted to do more stuff, but uh, for those who follow uh, wrestling news, will already have heard a couple of these stories already. Um, but for those who didn't, uh, the first story is, is just tragic. Uh, WWE superstar by the name of Shad Gaspar, former, I should say, um, passed away uh, when there was a rip current at a beach. And uh, he and his son were uh, approached by rescuers while they were out in the ocean. And he said, take my son first save my son first and they did and when they came back he was gone and several days later they discovered his body washed up on shore um it's tragic but as many rightfully said he died a hero he saved his son's life um the story i want to talk about more in depth uh, and obviously thoughts go out to his family uh, from all accounts he was one of the, the nicest guys in the business um, the story I want to talk about more in depth because of, of the, the really unfortunate circumstances surrounding it. Um, oh boy. Uh, I wasn't going to make any videos. I just want to say that I, the reason I haven't done anything like the ideas I've talked about on the channel before, like re-rolled and stuff like that. Like I, I wanted to do a bunch of other stuff on camera and then quarantine it and couldn't go out and get a haircut. That's why I'm wearing this hat. Uh, and I couldn't shave, so I look like a hobo. Uh, and that's... I, I wasn't planning on making any videos during this quarantine time. I was just going to save it until after all that was all said and done. Or if it was seeming like it was going to be even longer and longer and longer, then I would I would find some other way to clean up. But, um, but I didn't want to sit on this particular topic too long. Um, there was a young Japanese uh, professional wrestler by the name of Hanakamura. Hanakamura was 22 years old. Uh, and while it hasn't been confirmed officially, publicly, it is pretty much guaranteed that the cause of death was suicide. Uh, the reason I bring this up uh, is because this young woman had her whole future ahead of her, incredible amount of talent and potential. Uh, she was part of the first ever women's match even though it was a dark match on on the wrestle kingdom card it wasn't part of wrestle kingdom but it was right before it first time they'd ever done it she's part of this historic event she was on the rise and i bring that up because this all stems from that gear that she wore to that event uh it got shrunk in the wash ac accidentally on a reality tv show that she was a part of called terrace house which is uh, i believe on the japanese netflix very popular show it got shrunk she got into a fight and she got emotional understandably this is a very important item to her and she lost her temper and slapped someone and because she slapped this person people on twitter in droves took it upon themselves to wish death upon this young woman told her she should die she should kill herself all these horrible things and she eventually took her own life, posted pictures of self-harm right before it happened, uh, apologies about not feeling human anymore, all these terrible things at 22 and ended her life. And I, I, the reason I wanted to talk about this is because it's infuriating that people don't seem to have understood in this day and age that this bullshit about sticks and stones will break my bones but words will never hurt me is somehow valid. It isn't. It, what surprises me is people cart that out whenever something like this happens. Uh, sticks and stones, it shouldn't do this to someone. But nobody stops to think about the one they love quoting, which is the golden rule. I'm not a biblical man, but it's a common sense one. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It's empathy.
the ability to empathize with another human being. Just something you type out on Twitter. Imagine if someone were to say that to you and then ask yourself if you can still hit enter. That doesn't seem like a difficult concept to get my head around. I don't know why everybody else seems to have this problem. I'm not saying I haven't said mean things to people before, of course. But usually, there's two ways to do that. You're venting in the privacy of your own home with a friend or something. No one's ever going to hear it. It's never going to hurt the person that you said it to. It's just emotional. Everybody has that. That's fine. You want to keep it to yourself. Spew all the venom you want. It's not hurting anyone because it's to yourself. It's in private. It doesn't hurt someone. But the other kind, the other kind of venom that, that people don't seem to comprehend is the type that you should say to someone's face. If you're really this emotional and you're really this upset and somebody's really, really hurt you somehow and you need to tell them that they've hurt you or you need to explain to someone what they've done that, that made you feel this way, you do it to their face. You give them a chance to respond. You give the opportunity for a dialogue back and forth. Even if what you want is to vent, that doesn't give you the right to take away the other person's ability to speak for themselves. But what what happens with comments like these on social media is that you, the other person doesn't have the opportunity. Yeah, they can they can message you back, sure. But that's that's the text chain, that's nothing. That you're hidden behind a screen. There's no there's no risk to you divulging this venom. There's no consequence to you spewing these hateful things because they can't make you accountable for them. You're an anonymous person on the other end of a screen. And we seem to have just taken that as freedom of speech. We can say whatever we want. And and somehow hand in hand that goes with freedom of consequence now. And some of you are probably saying, well, you're not anonymous. You go by, you're also, I should say, you are anonymous. You go by Roman Empire. That's not your real name. I know that. But my face is here. I'm putting myself on camera for this reason. I could have said this over a video, a, a, a video game session, and, and but that didn't feel appropriate. And the whole point of this is accountability. So I'm here. Anybody who knows me knows this face. Anybody who doesn't know me and sees me on the streets will know this face. The only reason I don't give out my full name is for other people's benefit. I have family here. I, I don't need some lunatic finding out where I live and doing something harmful to someone I love because they didn't agree with my opinion, which unfortunately is the world we live in. I, I would love to just say my name outright. People can find it if they want to do enough research. This is, like I said, my face is on here. But that's my point, is on Twitter, somebody can give themselves a fake name with a profile picture that isn't their face stay hidden behind this thing, and unless somebody's willing to go digging around for their IP address, they'll never find out who they are. Now imagine that times a million. Just, just imagine someone telling you to kill yourself. And then imagine a hundred people, daily, telling you to kill yourself. Then a thousand. Then a hundred thousand. Then a million people on this platform telling you that you don't deserve to live over a reality TV show, over something so insignificant in the grand scheme of things. Can you imagine what that would feel like? You should be able to, if you can't imagine it being said to someone you love. That message that you want to type out on Twitter that's full of so much venom, that you don't have a right to speak about things in my country because you're not from here, so shut up. Or, you should die for what you did to that person. Or, you don't deserve to have any friends because of the... Imagine any of those things now being said to your mother, your sibling, your grandparents, a co-worker that you have affection for, your significant other. Does it make your stomach turn? Does it make you uncomfortable? It should. That's kind of my point. She was 22 years old. This girl had the world in front of her. A bright future. 
and she believed in her final moments that she wasn't human. And somehow we continue on as if that's just, that's just what happens. There will be people who say, you know, she was weak. She couldn't handle a few comments. I dare you to live with that for a week, every day, millions of people telling you you don't deserve to live. How long do you think you'd last? As human beings, we need to be better than that. I've I've see I've seen and heard of people committing suicide uh, close to me physically. I mean literally across the street. And for some people, the motivation is just feeling like nobody sees them. This is the same thing. A million people telling you that you should die, that you don't deserve to live. She said, I don't feel human. That's because you don't feel like people see you as a human being at that point. It's just as bad as having everyone in your life look past you like you're not even there. It dehumanizes you. Responsibility and accountability is more important than ever because of the technology we have at our disposal. We have to be accountable for these sort of things. We just have to be. Because no one is going to hold us accountable as it stands right now. The fortunate, the silver lining that comes out of this horrible thing is that in Japan, they're considering legislation against cyberbullying. And not just lip service, they're actually looking for ways to identify a person's IP address if they send what they consider to be harmful and malicious statements that risk someone's health. Good. I think they should. I think more countries should do that. And there will be people who say that's, nope, that's crossing a line. It's, it's, it's invading privacy. It's a, it's a big brother and all this nonsense. I get the fear. I get the big brother argument. I get it. I do. But at some point, there has to be some accountability and consequence for people's actions, for the, for the things they do and say. And people won't agree with me. That's fine. But I had to say something. Because I literally couldn't... I couldn't record anything for over a week and a half. Because every time I tried to, I felt wrong. It didn't feel right because I wasn't addressing this thing, this pit in my stomach. Human beings cannot be treated like lesser than just because you can't see them, just because they're hidden behind a screen, just because they're a profile image to you and not a, and not a person. Social media and technology do not give you the right to strip away someone's humanity. That's what happened to this girl. A group of people systematically destroyed her sense of self. Imagine if that was you. Imagine if that was your child at school, comes home, their life is on that phone. They, they look at that phone, they open an app, and the first thing they see is just streams of messages telling them that they don't deserve to live. Do you feel fury? Do you feel disgust and anger? Because you should. You should feel something. If you're human, if you're not a sociopath or a psychopath, you should feel something. I don't know what the permanent solution to this is or if there is ever going to be one. I'm not someone who believes that you have to take every single measure in the world to, to needle out every form of bullying and, and stop every bully and punish them anytime somebody says a bad word. It's not what I'm saying. But this level of access is not something we've had before. It didn't used to be that strangers, millions of them, could just find you and harass you like this. 
bullying in school, when there's a kid saying horrible things to you, there's principals around you and teachers and people you can go to, your parents, there's friends. You, you know this person. You can confront them directly. They're a part of your life. It's horrible, but they're a part of your life, which means you have some power, some access to do something about it, about it, and they have responsibility and accountability for the consequences that come of what they do. That's not what's happening with things like Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and all these things. That's not what's happening. These are people hiding behind the mask of anonymity to hurt people for whatever their motivations. Maybe someone out there has some empathetic, horrible story, and that's the reason they lash out. It doesn't give them the right to. So I, I don't know what more to say about that. I just... I needed to say something. Anything to help me move past this. Because I'm... We're in a time where people are dying left and right from horrible things. I have have family who is experiencing that grief right now. I won't be so selfish as to claim that I have any monopoly on that. I don't. They are hurting far worse than I am. But I find I'm struck so hard when someone takes their own life. It, it gets me somewhere deep because no matter what you believe, we have no guarantee of anything after all this. You get one shot at this life. And to make someone feel like it's not worth it to keep going at 22. Who gives you the right to take that from someone? So maybe maybe I'm just getting angry at a void here. Maybe no one will see this. Maybe, maybe it will not reach any of the ears it needs to reach. I don't know. I don't know. But I had to say something. And hopefully this will help me put those feelings aside. And, and hopefully that will mean that I can get back to doing what this channel was meant to do, which was entertain and make people smile and laugh and forget these sorts of things. But every once in a while, you, you can't just forget. You can't just say nothing. So I've said something. Uh... No flashy intros for this video, no no jokes, no no silliness. I just I'm encouraging you as human beings. Be better. Be kinder. You you don't have to be a different person. You don't have to be Miss or Mr. Congeniality. You don't have to be a, a proverbial ball of sunshine everywhere you go, but just be better. Just be the human you would want people to be towards you. That's it. It seems simple, but we're still not doing it. Uh, hopefully I will see you all soon and under better circumstances. Goodbye. And remember, get one. So just live it better.